So hi everyone and welcome to part 4 of this univariate forecasting series and in this part we're going to generate essentially our forecast based on what we thought was the best model in the last video and uh, we're going to forecast out of sample. So uh, typically that's the notion of forecasting that we kind of think of. So the first thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to generate, okay, so we're going to generate the optimal fit and if you recall in the last video in part uh in part three we said uh that the right or at least what we think based on the three models that we tested was uh the one that we used the auto or EMA command so we're gonna forecast okay, using that entire model but instead of using our training and testing samples we're gonna use the entire series that we have so let's generate a uh, uh, a model called final fit okay so that I'll generate this object and this is generated using the auto arima command so auto dot arima and we'll just do that on inflation so before we did it on the training data set now we'll do it for the entire inflation series that we have and again we'll let seasonal equal to true okay and let's test this out okay so this should run and it loaded and then let's see uh, a couple of diagnostics before we generate the forecast so auto plot um, final fit okay so let's see and we still notice that all the um, all the roots are still within the unit circle and uh, all the inverse roots rather are still within the unit circle so that's good so we pass that test then let's check the residuals check underscore res final fit and uh, I think, you yeah, know, so we see there are still some significant ones, but it's not too bad, I'd say. So um, there's that. Then uh, let's generate, okay, let's generate the forecast now. So generate our out of sample forecast. So let's create an object F cast F for our final forecast. And uh, the command to forecast again is forecast, right? Then we're gonna forecast using our full inflation, okay? Then the model is a final fit, okay? Then we want to forecast, so let's forecast, hmm, let's forecast say uh, a year ahead, so 12 periods ahead. Then uh, plot underscore. Okay, so let's just run this command first. Okay, then it ran. Okay, so I should see that object. So it should be there, F cast F. So that's there. So um, let's uh, plot the forecast first. Plot cast F. Okay, so there's a command, plot underscore forecast. Okay, so F cast F. Then we should see that... Um, uh, that period so let's zoom in there so this is our forecast for the next 12 months so inflation is kind of seen to be relatively muted um, relatively benign which is good and i think it's within the inflation target of the philippines central bank for the next uh for the next year so um instead of like having to uh to kind of um click over to see the values we can just ask r to print that for us so that's summary okay, f cast f and we can get these forecasts so for may 2020 it's 2.01 percent then we see the values up till um, april uh, 2021 so that's how to do out of uh, sample forecasting in r and that concludes our series on uh, univariate forecasting in R. So thank you very much.